Welcome back to the Woodland Forge. I made a stool. It's completely irrelevant. Today's video is kind of a continuation of my past bellows video. I'll be making some general improvements, especially on the air gate, which you'll probably want to see. So the primary reason that uh, kind of sparked this entire thing is basically this air gate, which I made in the original the bellows, works. It has been working, but it does let out, it does leak a bit of air out. Um, that and also being the way it is, which it operates like this normally, or at least this is the way it was operating. Um, you can see I do have, I am meeting resistance there. It does pump air. The upward draft, so yeah, obviously when you pull this up, you're sucking in air and that, um, sucking vacuum motion, I guess, wasn't hardly enough to lift this this gate up, which I could did a little bit, but not enough. And so that made it so that it was sucking in air the, in the end, meaning that it was sucking fire in and this started smoking while I was using it and that was bad. And I could see a little bit of flame shooting out the side of a leak that I had, so that was really bad. So, and also when I was making the video, well, the, the original Bellows video, I mentioned that doing this something that would be good to do, but I didn't have an auger at the time, so I couldn't do it medievally. Um, but I do have a couple of augers, you can see back there now, and there's actually more that aren't here. Um, so I did drill some holes here, and I cut this out, so it's the central air gate, which is better than this one, which is just kind of an idea I made up. Now I'm flipping it over, so actually what was the bottom will now be the top. Naturally, gravity will make it so that the air gate drops. Hopefully you can see that there. When I shove this down, the air trying to get out upwards is enough to shut the gate with pretty, it's easy actually. So the air gate will open, bringing it up and shut when I, when I put it down. So the air gate is now working very well, whereas it wasn't working extremely well before. I'm also going to cover this gate, the old gate with a piece of wood. You already kind of know what I'm doing here. If you've watched my previous bellows video, videos, um, I'm just kind of shaping this to the back so it'll be rounded like the back of the bellows is. Should be the last one here. Good. So, this one's done. Air gate is certainly a lot better. Um, so now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other bellows and we'll meet back here when that's done. Right, so we got these finished up both to the same stage. I think I'm gonna stick something to mount both of these up to the frame, and then I'll stick them back in their position and build a little frame over them to heat them up. What I'm doing here is a technique known by woodworkers as lock and mortise, it's been used for thousands of years. Very reliable, good way to do it. This is a pretty soft wood, probably not the best wood to use, but it's just what I had laying around, so it should work all right. clean that hole up a little bit with a round file. And that's really all it needed. Did I say lock and mortise? I meant mortise and tenon. Mortise and tenon. Um, and if you don't know what that is, basically, if you can imagine like on an ax, um, you have the eye of the ax and the handle slots into the eye. Well, basically, the eye would be considered the mortise and the tenon would be the handle slotting into it. So here I'm drilling a hole, which is also referred to as a mortise. And then I will be cutting a piece of wood to stick into that hole and wedge them together or fit them very tightly together, press fit them, however you want to put that. Um, and that thing that I'm going to be shoving into the hole is called a tenon. Right, so in this part of the video, we lost audio, but you can see I have now flipped it around and I'm drilling a hole on the other side of the beam. And here I am forming the one end of the tenon, which I will put into that hole. Here I'm fitting them together. They went together very nicely. And doing it again. Again, they fit very nicely. So 
So I'm gonna hammer these down to the ground. You can see those mortise and tenon joints took pretty well. And it needs to go down about, about a hand's width or length, roughly. So. Let me check that for height. Yep, that's about right. About how I want it. Right, so a quick summary of this. Um, you've already seen how this basically works in a previous video, so I'm not gonna go over it all, but um, we did the air gate in the um, middle of the bellows. We flipped it around so it'll work basically upside down to how it was before, and then we just put this back together. As you can see, if you, didn't, if you didn't understand before what I was saying, now you probably can see what I'm saying, how it kind of works upside down like that. So I'll make some minor adjustments to this here and there, but uh, that's not really something I can explain to you on camera. You just have to do that yourself if you have to, which you probably will if you make something like this. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, you might think about it. For now, farewell, wherever you fare.